WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. upgrade update. Currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. Dow's up 137, 127. Uh, S&P's up 31. NASDAQ up 58 points. Russell's up 22. Semi's up 35. Gold's up 7 bucks. Silver, 6 pennies. Lights Recruit is up 250. She trade at 102.64. Natural Gas up 32 cents. 30 year Treasury up 1 point and 6 ticks. She's trade out at 140.09. So let's do this here. Let's go take a look at our indice charts out here. We'll begin momentarily by taking a look at the Dow. It'll pop up and be in your upper left-hand corner. And what do we know about the Dow? Well, it is still actually trading. I believe it is. Yeah, it is still trading with inside the actual swing point from February the 25th out there. So not exactly. And there's no bottoming pattern that I have. Doesn't mean that we can't get a counter trend move up to the 33,665-ish area. That's that red oscillator and change line. The S&P 500, no bottoming signal here. Price did test and reject its February 24th swing point. That can be a bottom or at least a place where you can't break it down. You try to break it up. The break it to the upside would be the red oscillator and change line. That price target is 42.49. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull over. So it's going to be a struggle. Not that it can't happen, but it is going to be a struggle for the S&P to do that. So it's not going to be a, a slingshot straight move up there or shouldn't be. Not that it can't. And the reason I say that is if you look in the very upper right-hand corner, you're looking at the market breadth here for the S&P 500. You're looking at the weekly, daily, the 240. All of those are set with bearish crossovers. Let me just open up the daily time frame since it was the daily chart that we were looking at. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at so the the red line is referring to those instruments trading below the bottom of their in this case we're looking at a daily time frame daily profile whereas a green line is instruments trading above the top of their daily profile you can see we got a, a bearish crossover that bearish crossover took place it looks like on on april the 22nd so and you have 289 instruments 58 percent of the stocks trading below profile versus trading above is almost 6%. So it's really got its work cut out. That's the S&P 500 in order to a signal. Uh, so, there's, so this right now, folks, what that was telling us is at this stage of the game, this is still only a counter trend move. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bears up next, David White. Have a terrific Tuesday. I'll look forward to seeing you on wonderful events. Have a great day.